Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tayyab. Uh, our next presenter is uh, Muhammad Hassan. He's from Center of Excellence in Water Social Engineering, UT Lahore. Uh, Muhammad Hassan will present his paper title is Modeling Glacier Lake Outburst Flood Impacts on Shigo Hydro Power Project and Settled Area. So, Mr. Muhammad Hassan, uh, please. Uh, Start your presentation. Uh, hello, Sandeep. Thank you for your introduction, sir. Can everyone listen clearly? Yes. Please share. Uh, Can you share uh, your? Yes, that's it. Right. Is it okay, sir? No. Yes, it's okay. Please go ahead. Uh, respected senior professionals and fellow members, Assalamualaikum. I am Muhammad Hassan and uh, I am a student from Center of Excellence, uh, UT Lahore. My brother is uh, Dr. Kareem Sarwar, and my topic is uh, Modeling Glacier Lake August Impact Flood on Sugar and Hydropower Project and Settled Areas. Coming towards the uh, introduction, uh, as we all know that climate change impacts uh, huge mass losses and imbalance of glaciers around the world, especially within the last two decades. Uh, downstream communities and infrastructures are already affected by unpredictable and huge glacial lake of this place. There can be multiple reasons of cloth generating, including snow avalanches, glacial carving, earthquakes, and many more. Uh, due to this massive destruction phenomena, uh, this uh, cloth has been enough hype to study for its impacts on future developments concerns and uh, potential hydropower projects in the northern areas. Uh, now, the problem statement. In the recent decade locally uh, in Pakistan, uh, three catastrophic events occurred, one at Shagor on 15 July and other two at the Golangol Hydropower Project on uh, 7 July 2019 and uh, other on 13 July 2020. The effects of uh, these uh, gloves on settled areas and potential, hydros, uh, potential hydropower stations can be catastrophic as these flood uh, level uh, floods can have higher flood levels even beyond the uh, estimated 10,000 return to the threats. Uh, the numerical modeling of these laws, predictions, and consequences have not been given such much, uh, such attention in the Chital division, that is the Hindukush belt of the great uh, Hindukush Karagam Hamalian range. Therefore, it, its impacts are the key area of interest in this study. Uh, three objectives were to be uh, uh, known. Uh, the first one is the uh, development of 2D glove generated flood routing models through each layer. Uh, the third, second one is impact evaluation of glove events on settled areas downstream to each layer. And the third one is impact evaluation of glove events on the proposed hydropower project. That is Shogo Now, this, uh, coming towards the study area. Uh, the study area is uh, located, located, on, uh, located at, in, according to these uh, coordinates. Uh, the uh, Shogosin Hydropower Project is located on the uh, Lepko River, which is the right bank tributary of Chitral River uh, and further joins the Mistil River six kilometers upstream to the Chitral City. Uh, Shogosin Hydropower Project is proposed uh, to a uh, 37 meter high CFRD dam that will contribute to 132 megawatt of the national grid. Uh, according to the study of uh, uh, climate change uh, risk and uh, vulnerability assessment uh, study uh, center in Islamabad 2018, they uh, predicted that nine prevailing lakes will uh, can have potential glow uh, 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 scenarios, uh, uh, which can affect the downstream communities and infrastructure to, uh, to the project. Uh, uh, these are the uh, data collected from uh, from the G uh, GCIS uh, study. Uh, the distances of lakes from the weir, the elevation difference of lake and the dam. Uh, the uh, area in square meters, snapshot, and type of place were carried from that study. Uh, now, uh, uh, at Golan Goal, as uh, I have explained earlier, that go uh, at Golan Goal uh, on uh, 7 July and on 13th July uh, 2020, already a glove event has been occurred. Uh, so, uh, first we have uh, validated uh, our glove study on Golan Goal and then uh, Reproduce the uh, uh, same methodology on sugar sand. Uh, you can see in the figure uh, that two locations of the hydropower projects and uh, the prevailing lakes, it, it is shown. 
nine to uh, nine legs from Shogun and one leg from, from the Gurungur. Now coming towards the estimation of discharges of legs, uh, the uh, empirical equations are uh, have been used in this study, uh, which uh, which were uh, uh, given by the uh, with the uh, given by a quick frequency for uh, the uh, mean depth of the legs. Uh, they have uh, they have studied hundred leg basic parameters uh, of for mean area depth and volume variances depending upon the geography and topographical surveys. Uh, so they have predicted uh, this equation, empirical equation for mean uh, for mean depth, and uh, for uh, uh, peak discharges. Uh, the study uh, was uh, used uh, by Evans in 1986. It is a simpler study for measuring the peak discharges from all lakes. Uh, for validation of model of Golan Gold Glove, these are the uh, results from uh, by using uh, the parameters. Uh, uh, by using the empirical equations uh, presented earlier. As uh, GLOF is a highly unpredictable event, leaving no exact measurement of how much percentage of leg will burst. Uh, for, for that, we have uh, uh, taken three scenarios, 20% uh, uh, leg outburst, 50% leg outburst, and 100% leg outburst, uh, backed by these uh, references. Uh, after, implying, uh, after applying the uh, uh, leg data into the, our uh, uh, study area, uh, we have uh, came down to this uh, these results on the discharge volume from uh, three scenarios and three uh, discharges from three scenarios. The graph is showing the maximum discharge and discharge volume through uh, each scenario. Now coming towards the methodology. Uh, in in our in this study, uh, I have used uh, HECRAS 6.0. Uh, because of uh, because of uh, a limit uh, because of uh, uh, very less data uh, use, usage. Uh, in in HECRA 6.0, uh, first of all, we have to go, uh, we have to give the projection to the, our uh, project. Uh, UTM uh, 42 North Zone was selected as it, it uh, as both the projects Golden Bowl and Sugar said uh, was uh, in this area. After after that, we have given the terrain data. In terrain data, we have to give a uh, digital elevation model to HECRA. Uh, for that, uh, freely available 30 meter dam, uh, SRTM dam was used uh, for, of, for data uh, for uh, 2014 data. Uh, we have also the option of uh, Allos uh, Pulsar uh, satellite data, uh, which was of 12.5 meter dam, but that data was for uh, 2009 data and it, that, was, that was why it was ignored. But still, a comparison was made in the, our uh, uh, validation model. And uh, physical drone uh, uh, cost uh, 70 to 80 per square meter. That um, for that uh, we have ignored this. Afterwards, uh, we have uh, to for uh, to for formate our uh, 2D flow area. For that, we have selected suitable computation mesh uh, so that uh, for our running of uh, for the stable uh, running of our model, uh, uh, our current uh, uh, number should be less than uh, one. Uh, Manning's and uh, were used uh, for three scenarios as uh, 0 0.05 for 20% leg outburst, uh, 0.04 for 50% leg burst, and uh, 0.03 for 100% leg outburst. Work. These Manning values were recommended by uh, Charles recommended value for mountainous streams uh, with no vegetation and also recommended by uh, this uh, reference. The boundary conditions, uh, inflow, boundary, inflow hydrographs were used as upstream boundary condition and normal depth was used as a downstream boundary condition. No initial condition, no initial condition was used uh, just to predict the block and inundation for our study. Coming towards the inflow hydrocars, as uh, due to unforeseen, uh, unforeseeable triggering and incalculable flood hydrocars of cloth, three scenarios uh, from the past were considered, uh, and uh, the recommended uh, intervals were, were selected. Uh, for 20% uh, thousand second, for 50% uh, lake uh, outburst percentage, uh, 1500 second, and for 100% peak outburst percentage, 2000 second was uh, were given. But in our uh, current study, uh, these were not taken because uh, the, the reach lengths were much larger uh, than the studied uh, than the studied uh, uh, references, and also uh, by applying these uh, hydrograph intervals. Uh, the, uh, there were no breaches of most lakes, including in Golan Gol and 
for sugar cell. So for uh, uh, current study, we have taken uh, uh, these three uh, hydrograph intervals, uh, 1800, 3700, and 3600 seconds. Hydrograph time uh, is used as triangular shape that is riding, uh, rising linearly up until the peak and after decreasing linearly to zero uh, QMX. Uh, references uh, were given. Uh, these are backed by these references. Uh, and uh, by the uh, comprehensive block study by Fishner in 2020, uh, we have uh, we were sure that uh, Golden Lake was twisted and eroded uh, channel. Uh, uh, and for that, uh, in our validation model, it is taken as 100% lake volume interview. Now, uh, this uh, uh, this these are the images of uh, for showing the uh, for the developing of 2D flow area at Golden Goal, which is the validation model. Uh, you can see the uh, at the downstream and there is the inflow boundary condition and at the uh, top we have uh, outflow boundary condition. Uh, VS locations are given and flow directions are shown. And uh, 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 for computation points, uh, 20 meter by 20 meter computation was selected. Uh, now after uh, running uh, uh, and given the inflow hydro condition and uh, outflow boundary condition, these were the simulated results. As you can see uh, at uh, window A, uh, uh, water section uh, uh, section one is shown, uh, which is uh, depicting the maximum depth was attained at this section was 18 meter. In uh, window B, uh, section two, the maximum depth was uh, 17 meter. And at the rear side in window C, and uh, it, it, um, the maximum depth was attained seven meter. Uh, this is the longitudinal profile of uh, rolling pool graph. Uh, the percentage differences. Uh, first of all, uh, the model was validated on two parameters. The flood depth X uh, section uh, mentioned in the right table and the flood inundation extent as per Google satellite imagery. Uh, the flood inundation came, uh, came out to be exactly uh, like uh, the GLOF, uh, after GLOF uh, imagery. And the flood depths uh, given in the uh, GLOF assessment report were uh, uh, 12 to 20 meter at uh, before the confluence of the rail goal. And uh, at the rear side, it was 7 to 11. Uh, for our estimated and simulated study, uh, these values came within the range, and uh, uh, thus our validation is uh, OK. Uh, for uh, the variation in flood volume and flood discharge, uh, this is uh, uh, truly dependent as empirical equations were used. Uh, the, uh, the lake area was uh, approximately as uh, as uh, the digital imagery of, of uh, 30 meter course, uh, course imagery was selected by me, and in uh, and the first one was was selected very fine digital imagery. That's why uh, the percentage variation is uh, 18 percent, 20 percent. Uh, now for our uh, uh, our study area, shows in hydro power projects. Uh, similarly, by applying the uh, empirical equations uh, of uh, mean depth and volume and discharges. We can have the uh, these values for uh, for for lakes for three uh, for thirteen scenarios. That is lake one uh, till uh, the combined effect of lake seven to nine. The red highlighted text are because uh, these are the peak discharges uh, beyond the estimated of uh, ten thousand return period floods. Similarly, um, the two to two area for uh, uh, Sing, uh, but this is uh, shown for only. Uh, uh, if if uh, uh, seven to nine lakes combinedly burst, which is the worst case scenario for our uh, case study. Uh, after simulation, uh, you can see uh, in window A, uh, section one, uh, the maximum depth was attained 9.8 meter. Uh, in window C, the section five, uh, we attained the maximum depth of 8.14. In section B, uh, in window B and uh, section two, three, and four, uh, maximum depths are shown. And lastly, at uh, window D, at uh, the section six and uh, the section right before the VA. Uh, section six, so we have attained the maximum depth of 7.43 meter, and at the VA side, we have maximum depth of 9.02 meter, so just before the VA. Uh, similarly, the longitudinal profile of uh, Shogos in uh, lake seven to nine. These, uh, these are the location of bridges and uh, buildings affected uh, with, for, by the uh, uh, by the GLOF inundation, uh, you can see uh, uh, the uh, number of buildings and bridges uh, in the image. 
this is the comprehensive result uh, from all lakes uh, uh, in uh, for all lakes uh, and uh, all scenarios uh, optimistic uh, three scenarios were 20 percent lake outburst to 50 percent and 100 percent lake outburst maximum depths were uh, are shown at uh, full long zero profile at uh, gloss tail and uh, the maximum depth attained at Shabus and Hartford Preserve. Uh, similarly, a uh, number of uh, buildings affected by each scenario and number of bridges affected by each scenario uh, with having a water depth of greater than 2 meters. Uh, coming towards the conclusion, uh, the minimum loss uh, that is no loss occurs when all individual lakes burst only 20% uh, of their full potential. But maximum loss occurs when combined, as, in, uh, as shown in the images, a uh, combined seven to nine lakes completely burst, affecting a total of 53 number of buildings and uh, six bridges in the Shogosin uh, Hydropower Project. The maximum height of loss attained at Shogosin Hydropower Project is uh, 9.8 meter. Uh, that comes if uh, three lakes, uh, seven to nine burst completely, simultaneously generating a flood of uh, 2,147 cubic units. Uh, as uh, uh, previously explained, Shogosin Dam body is uh, proposed 37 meter high dam. Uh, so, so that 9.8 meter doesn't uh, have uh, but, uh, and that much catastrophic totally effect on the dam. Uh, the impacts of blocks to each and collective lakes are not massive because of uh, the longer regions and each lake uh, uh, between the each lake and the Shogosin Hydropower Project. And now, for our final recommendations: uh, if uh, we have, if uh, there is an availability of updated and higher resolution dam, the results can be improved. Uh, and the other uncertainties can be improved uh, if uh, approx uh, appropriate volume of lakes uh, through better metric survey, uh, better survey is available, ground truthing for appropriate manage value, and detailed surveys of occupants living in the downstream. This is from my side. Thank you for the <coughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rath